Behind the Scene with David Bedeen, July 28th, 2021. A surprising development. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency, an agency that runs services for 5 million Palestinian Arab refugees from the 1948 war in 59 refugee camps, has been given the opportunity to make a change in its school system, a school system which is, which is rife with incitement to violence. That opportunity was given by the United States government in an agreement that was reached between the United, the United States and UNRWA, offering new budget, new hope, new structure for UNRWA if it would simply sign an agreement denouncing violence and incitement. And on July 14th, 2021, an agreement was, was reached, the signatories from the UNRWA and from the United States State Department were witnessed, and it looked like there was a new ballgame. However, on today, July 29th, 2021, UNRWA refused to say that they would change anything in their school books or anything in their curriculum. The answer received from the office of Philip Lazzarini, the head of UNRWA, was we do not have a curriculum. We use the school books of host countries. Well, we know that. And that's what, they, what their school books, the, the curriculum is based on. UNRWA has the opportunity to use school books of, the, of their choice. Uh, and, and if there's a school book that may contradict United Nations values, then it can eliminate the book. I'll give you an example. This is a recent school book with a woman named Dalala Mugrabi portrayed as a hero for Palestinian Arab children to learn about. Her name is Dalala Mugrabi, nice looking woman uh, in, a, in a kind of a military pose. And she's shown to be someone that every child should, should grow up to be like, except what's the problem? Her, her, her day of infamy was on March 11th, 1978, when she led a, she commandeered a bus and led a group of Palestinian terrorists to attack that bus and murder 35 people, including 13 children. That is the, the legacy of Dalal Mugrabi taught in the UNRWA schools through the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian Authority is the host country, provides school books for the PA, and the PA has the opportunity to take or not take books according to whether they would be appropriate for the United Nations. And remember, a United Nations school is loyal to the principles of the UN, which are that in matters of education, peace starts here. And yesterday, when a colleague uh, gave a, qu a written question to UNRWA, will you change the school books? Will there be any changes? The answer received, we have no curriculum. We do what the curriculum says according to the host nations taking no responsibility for, for this book or the other books. You know, you can see the translations of the books on our website, onra-monitor.com or israelbehindthenews.com. We've been through 1,000 school books of the Palestinian Authority used by UNRWA over the past 20 years. Not one book, not one sentence, not one hint for peace or for reconciliation. So now we are, we're in a new, new ball game once again where the UNRWA has taken the school system one step further towards violence as opposed to towards peace. I make this, this presentation knowing that the donor nations, the main donor nations, Sweden, Germany, the UK, Canada, and now perhaps the United States will come back into funding UNRWA, are left in the dark. They do not know what's going on. They do not have an inkling about the extent of incitement happening in these schools. And now we have a situation where UNRWA refuses to make any changes. Those of you watching this program who are citizens of the donor nations, and the donor nations can be found on our homepage at israelbehindthenews.com or at unra-monitor.com, you can see who, who the donor nations are. And you can take responsibility and say to your host government, your home government, this is not acceptable to have a school system like that, which is which the focus is what they call the right of return by force of arms. What they mean by the right of return? Taking all Israeli cities, which used to be in, in uh, under the control of Arabs, and putting them back to be under the control of Arabs in a, in a uh, almost a surreal context 
of of um, deja vu, but not deja vu in a in a um, how should I say a nostalgic kind of, kind of a fashion, but deja vu in a militaristic fashion, where children are taught the concept of right of return by force of arms, and I must say full disclosure. Our agency, the Bedeen Center for Near East Policy Research, has just commissioned this summer a TV crew to film Arab students from the UNRWA schools as they're trained to kill from age nine. 10,000 children in UNRWA schools issued automatic weapons, which they're going to use in one direction. This is David Bedeen, behind the scene with David Bedeen. Shalom.